Hey everyone, Mac here. We're continuing the Hitman walkthrough. Hard difficulty. This is Hitman Absolution, obviously. This is mission six, Rosewood. And I do this mission, what I thought was practically flawlessly. I do not get a Silent Assassin rating. Nowhere near it, actually. Um, which is weird to me. We're going to start the mission off through this sequence, sequence of carrying Victoria through the orphanage. I believe it's like an orphanage slash hospital slash like a religious orphanage. And uh, some stuff's gone down, which is why you'll see a lot of dead nuns and, and stuff like that. Uh, this section's all relatively easy. You just go to the end of the hall and follow it. Once you get to the end of the hall, you'll see an elevator that starts beeping. During that section, you want to go to the left-hand side through the curtains, and you want to wait for the bad guys to walk by you before you enter that elevator. Um, this section's pretty easy again. Uh, you'll see the bad guys through the windows. You'll see their shadows cast onto the curtains which uh, is your cue to go and make a break for that elevator. And by make a break, you don't have to rush it by any means. You have all day to get there, literally. And obviously you can use your radar to watch them walk by you. This mission is very hard the way I did it. I did not enjoy it. There's probably you know a slightly easier way to get it. I did get suit only. I got one kill, unfortunately, which didn't mean the no kills and uh, I don't get spotted, I believe. So we're gonna climb up here, climb up here once the elevator breaks down. At this point, we need to find four fuses that are kind of littered around the map. You're gonna need a lot of patience for this method. You wait here until these guys, you know, finish their conversation and end up down the hall. Um, using this method that I did here, you will need a book or two to uh, throw across the room as a distraction when you're picking up some stuff. I tried to make this as foolproof as possible, although sometimes you, you just never know where an enemy is going to walk. Even though it is scripted, you, you sometimes you end up in a room, you know, five seconds later than you imagined, and he's in a completely different spot. Anyways, finally we're down the hall. You can take scissors and throw them at someone's head. I don't suggest it because they're just going to find the body and panic. Uh, at this point, just stay crouched. You're going to be crouched for almost the entire mission. You can walk by this guy. You'll be walking by him three or four times this mission. You can walk behind him and he'll never notice you, even though it is seems really, really close. You can get a syringe there if you want to play with the syringe. There's your first fuse. We're going back to where, all the way back to where we came from. And we're going to go down the stairs at the very beginning of this section. To get our second, third, and fourth fuse, you're going to need to total of four fuses one of them is ridiculously hard uh, two of them are decently easy and one of them is on the way to the ridiculously hard one so we'll do that take that book you will need it as a distraction I highly highly recommend it there is an enemy at the bottom of these stairs make sure you watch out for him once he leaves you're gonna make a left and you're gonna just crouch right behind there you're gonna toss the book in the far corner to distract everyone in the room and you can literally just crouch walk all the way to the fuse uh, just like this you will have to be quick you'll have to know exactly where you're going and you'll have to literally walk out of that room as soon as that happens now we're gonna go try to trigger a checkpoint I recommend you do this now uh, you can do it later as there you really don't have a proper way. I really recommend you get this checkpoint now as the hardest section is definitely coming up. It's a very long section to be completely honest, but uh, obviously necessary for this mission. Just watch the radar, be careful. I pick up the book. You're gonna need it for, it's a, it's a just in case type of book. If you have an enemy that's walking towards you, you can try to throw that book behind them and try to get away with them turning around and you can make a break for it. Here's the checkpoint, your first checkpoint. You want this checkpoint. Get accustomed to this checkpoint. You're gonna need it a few times um, unless you are quite good and can follow this um, to a T. You wanna crouch right here. It's gonna start a little meeting between these guys and they're gonna all start walking to the middle section. Once you see that one lone guard in the hallway by himself, turn around. You can start making a break for the second fuse. You're gonna to wanna to stay against a wall and uh, go from cover to cover using the A button. You'll see exactly what I mean as I do it. Right here, you wanna lock onto that wall, cover to cover. He's gonna say something about, 
something about dickless queers. I'm not even making that up. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but that's what he's talking about. I played the mission long enough. I've memorized all that stuff. Into this room, second fuse. Just grab it right away. You don't have to worry about anything. Get onto this cabinet, change cover over the over to the ball pit, and just wait on this side of the ball pit. I, I try to show you with my book aimer exactly what I'm waiting for and what's cueing me off to make my next move. There's a little doorway on the right hand side, which I'll show you in a second. As the guard walks by it, you can switch over to your next location. So there you go, that guard walked by, go to this side of the ball pit. They're gonna argue about how one of them is a stoner, blah, blah, blah. They're gonna break up a little bit. You'll see the guy in the uh, yellow, brown, orange, whatever color that is, jacket, move here. He'll kind of make an arm motion. A second later, he'll turn his head. You make a break for this door, stay crouched. You wanna go through this door, through this door, all the way to the back of this place. So this is probably the hardest section. This is the lab. This is the section where most people are probably screwing up the most and most people are probably using this video for this exact reason. We're gonna wait for about a minute until the boss comes, yada, yada, yada. They talk about some drugs they found and we're waiting for some of the characters to start shuffling around. You'll see this guy walk in front of us. That's perfect. You'll need him to do that. You'll have his friend walk from right in front of you as soon as he turns his head, scale cover, bam. You're gonna walk forward, forward, keep right, keep right, follow this, go left, fuse right there. Go exactly where you came from. And don't take time to go around or anything. Keep your eyes on your radar just in case. Go exactly where you came from, right here. Scale the cover closer to the door that you entered the room from. I tossed the book as a distraction and now you can make a, a break for that room with the ball pit. I was caught off guard by how the enemy was facing. He's usually never there. And uh, I used all my instinct to figure out that he's actually gonna go my way. And at this point I panicked hard cause I thought this was finally gonna be the playthrough where I got it. And as I look, his teammate nicely hides behind that counter. And then I see the guy walking towards me, <laughs> keep on the cover and go around the ball pit. I actually spend more time in this room than I should have. I could have actually probably made a break for it as there is uh, no enemies on that radar that I care about when exiting the room. You see the two guards to the right of me through those glass doors. You want them to be crossing each other in the hallway just like that when you make, uh, when you, when I say make a break for it, I mean you walk out the room and then you're just gonna keep on the wall and go from cover to cover. I got scared again because I don't know which way this guy's coming. And I see the two guards, they're crossing paths now. And I see this guy turn around. Once he turns around, bam, I'm gonna make a break for it. Cover onto this wall, hug this wall. You're gonna need to hug this wall the entire time. Change cover, you're gonna hit a plant. You wanna get off the wall, but get on the wall as fast as you can. Change cover, you wanna slide across this wall. Slide, slide, slide and then just crouch out, get to here as fast as possible. I spend a little too much time here as I wasn't sure if that enemy had a window he could see me through. He actually doesn't, so you can actually walk to where you came from from that checkpoint right now without getting spotted. I take a few extra seconds to uh, decide whether or not I wanna make that break. There's those enemies in that little section. Once they turn around, you are safe for sure. Bam. Bam, just keep walking if you see that uh, little indicator flash. You wanna look at the top of the stairs. Hopefully that guy is standing exactly like that. He should be, assuming you have all four of the fuses. Remember, there are four. There's one in the main area, one in the lab, one in the toy area, and then you have your last one uh, in the kind of secretary desk area, which honestly, you might wanna leave that one for last, but it's not a big deal you actually end up pretty close to it on your way out of this area. So again, this area, this is the, the guy you have to sneak like really close to behind. And at this point, if you fail, you go all the way back about five, six minutes to your checkpoint. So that really sucks. Be careful around that corner. Be careful. We're back to where the elevator was if uh, that's a good reference point for you guys. We're gonna pick up the book right here. The book should have respawned um, whether or not you you know, did that restart of the checkpoint or not, the book should be there. 
Keep an eye out for guards. There shouldn't be a guard in here, but there might. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go here uh, against this little uh, pew and toss the book in the corner. As soon as you get a little bit of a distraction, we're going to make a break for that door on the left. Almost get caught. Not quite perfect. Put the fuses into the fuse box and pull the lever to start the elevator. The most stressful part of the game thus far, you just completed it without being seen in your suit. Small cinematic. After that cinematic, uh, we're gonna end up in a creepy looking room. And once we're in that room, we're gonna pick up the bottle to the left, throw it across the room, and we're gonna sneak out the door. You don't really have to worry about the two guys who are inspecting. You just kind of have to worry about this guy in the purple here. Make sure he kind of walks and then just walk through that door in a straight, the straightest line you can. You shouldn't be seen. Watch out. If you run right now, you actually will get heard and they'll become suspicious of where you are. This next section, uh, I suggest you pick up that knife. You will need it to make your life a ton easier. You're actually not going to kill anyone with it. I'm just screwing around. If you want to kill someone with it, you can actually hit that guy right in front of you in the back of the head with it for an achievement if you don't already have it. Follow him. Jump up the ledge. Once you jump, jump up the ledge, make your way all the way to the end of it. Uh, make sure he's directly below you because if you throw the object and he doesn't really know where to go, He'll look up and see you through the grate. I almost get spotted by a bunch of the people uh, from the beginning of the mission, which whatever. I got, just throw that as far as you can in there and then make sure you tuck your character into the corner and uh, wait for that guy below you to start moving back towards where he came from. At that point, you're pretty much clear to go. Uh, make sure to stay crouched, obviously, through this section. Uh, change cover from cover to cover make sure you're not seen uh, at this point you're just gonna wait for the guy at the bottom of the stairs to turn uh, his path to his left aka your right and once he starts turning you're free to go uh, across the boardwalk just as you see me here at the end of this section make sure you drop down and I actually do get spotted right at the end here um, but you actually just follow exactly what I did and you won't get spotted if you just wait an extra two seconds um, there I go, there I go, bam, bam around the corner. See, I got spotted right at the end, but you shouldn't have if you waited an extra second. Trigger cinematic, uh, after that cinematic, this section's actually really easy. You won't have to fight anyone, you just have to do a few things. Um, if you follow exactly what I do and you decide to go for a uh, signature assassination using fiber wire, follow exactly what I do, except don't trigger the valves. You'll actually end up right behind the uh, target and just pull your fiber wire, choke him out. He won't have any guards around him uh, if you do it in the sequence. The way I did it, pull that valve, sneak through this, uh, what do you want to call it? Pipe? Gosh, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, vent. Go through the vent. At the end of the vent, you don't have to peek. You can just exit directly out. Go to the end of this section. Take a left. Um, once you do that, you actually don't have to worry about where he is in, in you know, coordination with where you are. Um, end of this part take a left you can turn on that val valve and it'll burn him or you can actually uh, sneak up behind him and kill him um, I guess if you want um, the way I did it he actually ends up alive so I don't know what happens if you kill him I believe you're supposed to kill him I, I guess he ends up dying regardless but part of the story um, he does talk a little bit in the cinematic at the end there not really gonna give a spoiler alert obviously because if you're here you basically did it there's the achievement Right after that, you trigger the cinematic, and then after that cinematic, you'll uh, trigger your, uh, what is the, oh my god, your score screen. I got professional rating, almost 80,000. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if it helped you. Hype Man Walkthrough playlist in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.